Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagabber Backpacking, and today I wanted to come out here and just do a really quick video and show you guys one of my favorite pieces of gear. Uh, this isn't part of my favorite backpacking series, but I did want to show you guys, I get a lot of questions about what type of suspension I use and why I use it. Now there's a lot of different types of suspension out there, and a lot of them that work really well, but I've chosen to go a very simple route, a way that really works for me, and I like to keep things as simple and as light as possible, and the way that I go is probably about as light as you can possibly go with it. Um, now, you could probably use different, and I have used different materials, but I really, really like what I'm using right now, so let me show you guys what I've got. Okay, so this strap, this is what I use. I just use a webbing strap. Now, on one end, it has a loop that's sewn into it, and I don't use any hardware, I don't use anything else, so it goes around the tree, goes through itself, through the loop that's on the end, and then comes down and gets attached to my continuous loop on my hammock. What I really like about this is how pliable, how flexible, how soft this is. Um, and the other thing, because it is what it is, it lays flat really well. I've had a lot of other ones, some Kevlar and some other like Dyneema type fabrics that really bunch up and they're hard to get to lay flat again. This one lays flat really, really well. So this is a polyester and UMHWE, whatever. It's ultra high molecular weight polyethylene is what it is. So it's a combination of polyester and that uh, to come up with this, this strap. And it's, so it's a nice, soft, very pliable, very malleable, uh, easy to put knots in, easy to get knots out of. I've had others that I put knots in and then they're really, really hard to get out because this one does move around really well. Knots come out of it real easy. Now, I do like to stay away from some of the, the hardware that's out there. Now, there's a lot of really cool systems out there. You could go with, you know, a lot of people like whoopee sling, whoopee sling type suspensions. I've moved away from those. Uh, that's actually what I started with was a whoopee sling suspension. And, and they've got a couple of things. They're, they're kind of finicky. You've got to make sure that you, uh, you have it set up right. Otherwise, it can slip through if you haven't done it correctly. Um, and then there's also the fact that you've got to actually be quite a bit further between trees for that system just because of the way that it sets up. Now, another system that a lot of people like are the cinch buckle systems or modified cinch buckle systems like the, the superior one. Uh, superior gear cinch buckle system or their adaptation to it is actually one of the best ones I've seen out there. But it's still, it's a little bit heavier and it's a little bit more, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's got hardware and so it doesn't feel as basic. I don't know. I, just something I, I like. So let me show you guys how I use this uh, to hang up my hammock. Okay, so like I mentioned, on this side, it is sewn in and it has a loop. And so I just run it back through this loop and then come down to my hammock. Now you can see that it lays nice and flat. Even if this was bunched up, you can see that it, it actually moves around and uh, I can just flatten it out, get it to lay flat real easy and it stays flat. Go over here. It's bunched up a little bit, just kind of run my finger under it, and it becomes flat again, which is really nice and something that you don't see from a lot of the strap systems. Now, this one's probably got 50 to 75 nights on it. Uh, it's been hung a lot of times for videos, and it still lays flat every time. Additionally, where I hang it, where I put my knot, uh, it always comes back to flat. You can see it's flat on either side of this. If you look all the way down through the webbing strap, it is flat all the way down through. So what I use is a Beckett hitch, and you make sure that you've got your continuous loop still on the upwind, <laughs> the upward side of the, the knot, uh, and that'll lock it in. Now, all you've gotta do is learn one knot, and you've got this thing dialed. All right, here's how simple it is to get this knot put in here. So you just, you slide it through your continuous loop so that it is completely through, and then you pull it till it's tight. You put a loop like that. You come through the loop with just a bite of, of the webbing, and then you pull it tight. You just pull that loop through, and you make sure that you still have a piece of your continuous loop on this side 
on the up strap side. And now that thing is in there and it's tight and it's not going anywhere. And then to release it, simply grab that, the loose strand that's there, pull it, and now it's released. And so you can make adjustments and tighten and loosen to get this exactly where you want it on your webbing. So you can tighten up your, your hammock and get that ridge line exactly how tight it needs to be. Put your loop in, come through it, tighten it up, and it's locked. Now it's not going anywhere as long as you've done it correctly and you see that your continuous loop is still above it. And then to strike it, you just pull it and now you can make more adjustments. Dead simple. Okay, so this is a very lightweight system like I had said before. Total is three ounces and that is 15 feet on each side. So I can go between some pretty wide trees and still get this thing hung. And it's about 2.8 grams per foot. Comes out to about 85 grams for the set if you're, if you're looking at grams. Um, so that's what I've got there. For me, it works really, really well. And it's just a simple, simple system. Learn one knot and you're good to go no matter what, no matter where you are. Uh, no hardware to fail. And it just it makes it really, really easy. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I put a link down in the script description to Myers Tech's Facebook page. You guys can go in there, check it out. He's got a lot of innovative, cool stuff that does away with hardware completely. And so go check him out, check out what he's got. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. I'll see you guys down the trail.